talked about public health dentistry in the earlier videos and I'm sure you have concerns regarding how this differs from a private practice. For better comprehension, consider your PhD camps as an example of public health care and private dentistry clinics as an example of private practice. Firstly, in clinics, usually the dentists deal with one patient at a time, while in camps, the healthcare professional deals with an entire population as they consider a disease to be a mass phenomenon. Secondly, a clinic is owned by the dentists and patients visit them in their clinic. But in case of camps, we as healthcare professionals set up camps and ourselves go to the patients in a population. Third, as you might have noticed while working at your clinic or in college, the patients mostly pay for the dental treatment that they receive, while in case of public health camps, we are usually dependent on external sources like state or central government to provide for funding. Next, a patient usually visits your clinic after the occurrence of a disease state, let us say dental caries. You treat their problem with the restoration as deemed appropriate and the effects are almost immediate and visible. But in case of public health dentistry, we are more concerned about preventing the occurrence of a disease. This proves to be beneficial in the long run. For example, let us say we want to prevent the occurrence of dental caries in a population. For this, we can educate the patients regarding the do's and don'ts like eating healthy food and less of sugary food alongside starting water fluoridation programs wherever necessary. Fifth, the dental clinician is only concerned about the patient suffering from the disease. If their patient has caries, they will treat only that and will not be interested in knowing if other people of the community have the same problem. The opposite is the scenario in public health programs. The healthcare workers are not only concerned about the patients who are diseased, but also take those people in a community who have not been affected by the disease. This helps us to provide community diagnosis to provide community measures for prevention and control of a disease state. Example, fluoridation of water supply in a community with high prevalence of dental caries in the population. Sixth, a dental clinician is concerned about the period of pathogenesis. This means they are concerned with the treatment of a patient when a disease state has already occurred. But on the other hand, for the public health official, the pre-pathogenesis period is of more importance. It is during this period, before the development of a disease, the health official can introduce preventive measures in order to remove the slightest chances for a disease to occur. Lastly, a dental clinician has very limited concern regarding the environment of a patient. On the other hand, for a public health professional, an in-depth study of all the aspects of the environment of a patient is necessary. This helps in understanding the type of agent and host conditions and knowing if the environment was suitable for the agent and not for the host, or vice versa. These were just some of the key points to remember when we think of differentiating between a private practice and public health dentistry. Always remember, primarily, private practice involves dealing with one patient at a time, and it is these patients who visit the dentist, while in public health dentistry, we visit the patient and are concerned with the health of the whole community. For a quick recap, in the first point, we saw that the interaction is on a one-on-one -on -one basis while it is on a mass level in the public health sector. Second, we talk about whether the patient visits the dentist or vice versa. The third point focuses on financial status and who makes the payments. Fourth, we discuss whether the primary focus is on treating or preventing a disease state. Fifth, we differentiate on the basis of whether we are concerned only with the person suffering from a disease or the community as a whole, irrespective of whether they are suffering or not. Sixth, in the private sector, we are concerned with the period of pathogenesis, while a public health official is more concerned about the period of pre-pathogenesis. Lastly, we discuss the importance of the environment of a patient in both setups. This was all for today's video. Thank you. If you stuck with me till now, I am sure you enjoyed the video. Please do like, share and subscribe to the channel. It makes up for all the time and effort we put into making concepts so simple and easy for you. Hope to see you in the next one.